So it's a hot day and maybe you want to get outside, play some ball hockey perhaps. But you know what? You don't want to overheat. So you throw a towel on, a special towel, and it cools you down right away. Superstar John Tavares, New York Islanders captain, NHL, here to tell us about this towel that, you, that you're wearing. How does this work? Yeah, it's a great towel. Uh, Missions uh, come out with some really cool products. Uh, keep you cool, especially doing your working out or for me when you're on the ice, you know, playing hockey or doing anything. So especially summertime in Canada and Toronto, obviously you can get pretty, uh, pretty hot and it just keeps you cool. It's real simple. Just add some water. Uh, it controls the rate of the evaporation and stays cool for a couple, uh, couple hours. So something I use while I'm training, especially I do a lot of training outside and use it uh, in the season as well. So it's been great for me and, and uh, it's great to see it come to Canada. Yeah, some high profile athletes and you yourself included attaching yourself to this, but you're not just a spokesperson. You're actually a principal. You bought into the company. Yes, it's, uh, it's a great product. And and, and uh, I believe it's, it's very innovative and, and uh, I think there's some great things coming forward with the towel and, and like you said there's some great people involved you know Christine Sinclair, George St. Pierre, um, Serena Williams, Dwayne Wade so it was really easy for me to buy in not only to the product but to the people that uh, are driving uh, you know driving this uh, uh, company mission. Got to talk some hockey now get into some other stuff now finalist for the Hart Trophy which of course is the NHL's most valuable player award it's got to feel good. Yeah, it's a special honor. Uh, you know, it's a lot of hard work, but a lot of it comes from the team's success. You know, most uh, nominees, uh, their teams do very well and uh, certainly play with some great line mates, have great teammates, and we had uh, a good season. So, um, certainly exciting, and I know the awards are coming up at the end of the month. Speaking of teammates, I was asking you before this interview uh, when the last time you talked to P.K. Subban, of course, superstar for the, the uh, Habs in Montreal, you go way back. And I, and I want to talk about friendships and friendships that are forged in this league because people sometimes think, oh, they're rivals, they're no friendships, but you go way, way back. Yeah, our, our parents went to uh, high school together in Sudbury, so uh, uh, there's that connection. Then we started playing minor hockey against each other when we were around seven, eight years old. So. Uh, we've known each other for a long time, definitely different personalities, but uh, we've always gone along and we've had some success playing together and had a lot of fun playing against each other as well. Speaking of playing, we've got some kids playing some ball hockey just behind us. And, and you know, it, it's interesting because we talk about kids and getting kids involved in sports, but there's so much, isn't there, when you grow up in a sport and you've got the camaraderie and the friendship sport at a young age. Yeah, it's, it's you know, I think, especially hockey in Canada, it's not only just the sport and the love of the game, but it's... It's uh, the values it brings and, and it, it, it means so much to us as people. Um, you know, when you come together with a team and able to achieve something special and everyone does their job and pulls their weight, there's a, there's a lot of value to that. And uh, um, certainly it's a lot of fun. It's what we're so passionate about. It's great for you to be here on a day that the final starts. So we got Chicago, we got Tampa Bay. Can I put you on the spot? What are you thinking, John Tavares? I don't know. I uh, I thought that when we were knocked out after the first round, I thought Anaheim had a real good chance this year. And uh, it's been crazy it's, this it's, year. Uh, it's been a great playoff. So, you know, I think uh, it's going to be a close series. Um, you know, I've got friends and guys I know on both teams. So, uh, it's it's tough to say, but I can see either team winning. But I, you know, I think Chicago's experience is going to be a big advantage for them. You think Chicago? I think they have a good chance. Yeah. All right. You know what? Before I let you go, there's another young Canadian who looks at you and says he wants to be just like you, one Mr. Connor McDavid. And, and just a, a word or two of advice, maybe, maybe for him as he comes out and has to deal at a very young age like you did with all of this. Yeah, it's a lot of attention. It's uh, uh, a lot of publicity, but I think it's just be who you are and make sure you take some time for yourself, time to relax, enjoy what you're doing. And uh, it's a great journey you're going to be on. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs, and this is what you dreamed about um, working to get to the NHL. And, you know, next year he'll be experiencing it all for the first time, and I remember what that was like. It was it was a lot of fun. So it's really just to cherish that and enjoy the opportunity, and, and obviously you want to do some great things, so, you know, push yourself. You feeling nice and cool? The sun's Very shining cool. out here, but you all cool down? Very cool. Okay. <laughs> to learn more about this, you can head to our website.